ちゃんどうしたどこここ She asked the question as though she was talking about something on the other side of the silver screen. The battler understood what that question meant. He played dumb. どこって六軒島だろ違うわ。違わねえさ。これのどこが六軒島だっていうのよ。1986年、お前が知りたがってた六軒島だ。嘘よ。どうしてこんなの、嘘っぱちだわ。And she wrenched her hand from her brother's grip. That hand had arose and sent the flower petals flying. And she spat those words out. However, Bowler's expression remained calm and composed. スクナクトも後ろ見は金蔵はそういう後ろ見は金蔵ってのは厳格で気難しく短期で分かってるじゃない何よあれあれのどこが後ろ見は金ハロウィンプレゼント交換何よそれこんなの後ろ見は金
見てたもん知ってたもん後宮金蔵は恐ろしい人だって怒鳴ってるところを見たことがあるもん私は覚えてる忘れないさっきも見た通りじいさまひょっとすると何かをあるいは親たちとの真剣な議論の中でそ,それを私が勝手に怯えて勝手にそうだと思い込んだっていうのそんなはずないわそんなはずないだって私は覚えてるものをちゃんと見たわ後宮金蔵が怒鳴ってる細い父さんも母さんも怯えていたわだからわかるの幼いお前が抱いたじいさまの印象はそのまま残りお前の成長とともに膨らんだ How many times did Angie see Kinzo in her life? How old was she the last time she saw him? Angie, who got sick easily when under pressure, couldn't have gone to Rokenjima often. And since she was absent from the family conference when she was six, her last memories of him must have come when she was just five years old. Even Badler had been pranked by Kinzo in the past. He'd do things like showing off an at attach case with seven strange stakes in it. And say something about how they were once used in the Middle Ages to gouge the hearts of victims in a witch's ceremony. When Kinzo did things like that, it was pretty scary, but looking back on it now, they really were childish pranks. Grandfather only scared his grandchildren because he wanted to joke around with them. And she bit her lower lip and stared at the ground. She said she didn't understand, but in truth, she understood perfectly and was refusing to accept it. Saki, Kakumade Halloween no present. Nanio, Hare, Hana Mataruikoto, Ushomiake de Yaruake and I. Oh, my wa. Marde, oh, what a night. Atasimo cuts the present or Morata, oh, what a night. So none of Aruake and I. Okarato Zuki de Seo Cabre no Jisamaga. Halloween will yarra night. Jisama no happy Halloween. Mo, Shinzok Kaigi no Isaac me tina mondata, Angelate, Morata Rasta. Osanai tena was uncook the night. Atasuga Osana Katakura. あれがあれが真実の10月4日だというのあの日もロッジー様はハッピーハロウィンの声とともに客間にやってきたよそして俺との6年ぶりの再会に涙をこぼしてくれながらじい様はエンジェが来れなかったことを残念がっていたよだからエンジェにぜひ渡してくれと。Well, no, duh, she never came back. Where did you hear that from? In the end, it was true. Angie's words were not mistaken. Not only Rudolph, but even Kraus, Hideyoshi, and Rosa had companies in money trouble. People started talking about the Rokenjima explosion accident as though it was some sort of conspiracy. And a mystery imagined by the public covered the island. Weekly magazines and television shows researched the circumstances of Kinzo's children at the time. And in the future where Angie lived, that research had been made public. But, 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 but,
しょ事実は真実だから六軒島での親族たちはそこにエンジェの幼い頃の親族会議で私の知っている六軒間違ってるっていうの<笑>間違ってるのはお兄ちゃんよあんなのありえないあるわけがない私は認めないわあんな後宮金蔵断じて断じてエンジェは信じないのかええ信じないお兄ちゃんがどういうつもりでこんなものを見せているのかわからんだってこれはお兄ちゃんのゲームベアトだのベルンだの何人もの魔女が私の運命を嘲笑っても私魔女たちのまやかしなんかなるほどね最後の資格にお兄ちゃんを送り込んできたってわけそうだなこれはだから確かにこれは俺の物語であるだからこそもしもお前が島に来ることができたならというほらお兄ちゃんの物語じゃ全部お兄ちゃんの嘘っぱちの作り話じゃこれは全て俺のほら認めたわね認めたじゃないやっぱりこれはお兄ちゃんのうどうして嘘をつくのどうして私に真実を教えてくれないの真実よりどうしても伝えたいことがあるからだ真実より大何それわけわかんないそれを分からせるためのものが俺のゲームだ Just as Beto's games were made to make Battler believe in witches, Battler's game was made to show Angie something that was more important than the truth. Interesting. Games never bring about their intended ends by force. After all, Beto's game could never be won for all eternity unless Battler acknowledged witches on his own. Battler's game was the same. Battler couldn't win in this game unless Angie acknowledged it herself. So Battler had advanced this game just as Beto had done in the past. To believe it or not. To accept it or not. The decision lay solely in the hands of the opponent. And so, Badler was trying to enshroud Angie with his own illusion. それがお会いにくね私魔女たちとのやりとりはなれお兄ちゃんが優しそうな顔をして私を騙そうとしてることなんて100も承知なんだから The big brother realized that no words of his would have any effect on his enraged little sister So he just quietly listened to Angie's words But even so Angie was dissatisfied もうくだらない茶番は飽き飽きたお兄ちゃんに真実を話す気がないと言うなら私は私の真実お兄ちゃんには頼らないそうよもともと頼るべき人間なんて私はいつだって一人ぼっちだったわよ悪いがこのゲームから降りることは<笑>ああゲームマスターが負けを認めない限りそんなつもりはないさ黙って話を聞けってだけのことだああそうなら黙ってることにするプレイヤーがいなくてもコマは勝手に動きゲそうだったわよねそうだなプレイヤーを離れそしてまた戻ってきたい時に戻ればいいそうさせてもらうわこれはコンクラブよお兄ちゃんが真実をごまかすことを諦めるまで真実より大切なこと意味わかんないそんなものあるわけがないあるんだよ仮に俺の物語お前は大切なものをこの島でなくしているんだお父さん、no. お母さん、no. the, the, the element, right? そしてお兄ちゃん私がなくしたのは家族とそしてすべてよ Spat out those words as though no further questioning would do any good and looked away Even as he watched this, Ballard's expression remained gentle 勝手に進めなさいよじゃあね、お兄ちゃん物語だけはちゃんと見ている聞くだけでもいい気が向いたらねじゃあ。うん。Angie's eyes clouded. Then a particularly strong gust of wind blew by, sending her hair flying. The wind must have been carrying some dust with it. Angie's nose twitched and she sneezed loudly. お兄ちゃん。なんだい。いつまでここにいるの
Angie's eyes weren't cloudy anymore. However, the tone and atmosphere about those eyes seemed somehow different from before. In a manner typical of young girls, Angie signaled that she was too bored and wanted to go do something. This Angie was clearly a six-year-old Angie. So that eh? Ja. Angie was guest. Oniichan was still here. Why? 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 Oh ho ho. Oh ho ho. Then, to Angie's eyes, it looked as though the strong winds were carrying flakes of gold along with them. No, she had definitely seen something, but she wasn't able to describe what she had seen. So to her, it seemed like flakes of gold dancing on the wind. It was as though he was talking to the wind. Badler spoke to the empty rose garden. That can't be right. After all, it was clear from his words that he was talking to someone right in front of him. So Angie thought it must be someone that she alone couldn't see, and she rubbed her eyes. Then when she opened her eyes wide, another large gust of wind blew past her. She shut her eyes immediately, when she timidly opened them. From the other end of the rose garden. Yes, from the path that led up from the harbor. A person appeared. Tanji looked as though she had appeared along with the cloud of gold flakes carried by the wind. おせぞ。ベアと。そうか。むしろ早いぞ。たまにはお前も一緒に船に乗ればいいんだ。先に捕まってお前と一緒に叫ぶか。いいぜ。叫ぼうぜ。落ちる、落ちるってな。なるほど
However, people say that they calm down once they see that their owner is on good terms with the stranger. I'm sure that something similar to this was going on in Angie's heart. Angie kept staring at this pushy, temperamental woman who called herself a witch. And she chatted happily with her brother. <laughs> Beato noticed the gold key hanging from Angie's neck. Angie automatically and defensively grasped it. Angie no. After, hear After hearing these vague words, the witch stared blankly for a second, but almost immediately she seemed to understand what he meant. なるほど。when her brother gave her the key, he had said that it was very important, so she had to take good care of it. And she didn't have a clue what the key was for, but it looked like Beato did. However, just like her brother had done earlier, Beato only spoke in riddles. This irritated Angie, but for the time being, the Golden Witch said that she didn't intend to steal the key, so Angie calmed down a little. The wish said the same thing as my brother. The pair nodded to each other, but it was all Greek to me. It felt like someone had laid out a riddle that everyone knew but me, and everyone was making fun of me. <laughs> Don't think about it, you'll get a headache. Angie held the key tightly. Even if she didn't understand what it meant, it was her own key, and her big brother had told her to take good care of it. With her youthful suspicion, she was scared that the witch might ask her to hand it over, saying that she'd teach her how to use it. Of course, her thoughts showed up clearly on her face. The witch couldn't help but laugh at that honest expression. The key was hanging around her neck like an ordinary necklace. And she could take it off right now if she wanted, and if an adult tried to use force, it seemed like it would be easy for them to take it away. However, both her brother and the witch said that it was protected by magic that would stop anyone from stealing it. Even the six-year-old Angie knew about the word magic. However, she also realized that real magic didn't exist, and that certain kinds of magic tricks were sometimes called magic. However, her brother and the witch were talking about magic itself. Ah, True, Maria had talked about that many times. When they were just playing, Angie had believed her more or less. However, Angie was, in some ways, sharp for her age. And when she heard Maria talking happily about magic, she sometimes thought that such a thing couldn't really exist. Bella spoke as though he was trying to smooth something over. When she heard that, Angie became sure that magic didn't exist after all. <laughs> 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 